Hello learners, so today we are going to discuss a union catalog and two union catalog we are going to discuss. But before we begin, you need to understand what is union catalog. You, so union catalog is a catalog of group of libraries which you can search and can find out which library has that particular book. So, but it is only possible when there are participating libraries which actually contribute content to the union catalog. So, there are lots of services that we can start on the top of union catalog and that but before we begin we need to understand there should be rules and regulation of a parties for the participating libraries so that the content can be enriched on a periodic basis in the union catalog because each library need to contribute content they should be updated and that is how the resource sharing and the interlibrary loan can become a reality. So, union catalog is one of the marvelous tool and the libraries has util understood its utility long back. But and there are international initiatives were taken uh, worldwide in the form of world cat and various other initiative as for the thesis and dissertations are concerned. So, lots of union catalog were created and in India also there was uh, local initiatives were taken for instance the Delnet has created their own uh, catalog and through that resource sharing and interlibrary loan can become a reality. And the uh, Delnet has uh, member in Sushino you know, more than 6000 libraries are member of the Delnet and they are continuously you know very consistently sharing their resources and uh, we can borrow the books from other library on the interlibrary loan. Apart from that there is one more uh, local initiative Indian initiative that is called INDCAT. So, INDCAT contains bibliographic information and that information help in locating the books in different libraries. INCAT is basically an initiative of Influence Center in Ahmedabad, which started this making this catalog of the university libraries in India, uh, because they want to start an interlibrary loan service uh, from their center. So this INCAT help in interlibrary loan collections development. INCAT is also being used in copy cataloging, and the retro conversion of bibliographic record because through the copy cataloging you no need to. Uh, uh, you know catalog the entire book from the scratch. If some other library has copy already catalog is you can just cap copy their catalog and add into your databases. So, the INCAT has also this utility. So, Infilibrate Center in Ahmedabad envisage that that the university libraries in India should also have a resource sharing at their own level because the Infilibrate Center they deal with the academic libraries in India and provide services to them. So, uh, they started collecting data from the different university libraries and then they created this union catalog called INCAT. It contains records in standard and bibliographic uh, format which has a mark and XML format. So, people can download the bibliography record and they can import in their own system. Uh, online union catalog of holding of approximately 121 universities and institution in India are part of it. So, there are large number of university and other institutions are participating in INCAT and all type of records for instance the maps, uh, books and theses uh, and the serials they are part of the INCAT. The all record they are actually process of authentication, duplication checking and error checking and thereafter the records are merged into the, into the union catalog. So, this INCAT basically the catalogs from the sole uh, software initially were gathered, uh, the libraries which were using the sole software that their bibliography data were gathered and this uh, INCAT service was started, but thereafter lots of other libraries which were not using the sole 
they are also become the member and they have started contributing the bibliographic code to this NCAT. So, copy cataloging facilitate downloading of bibliography records in Mark 21 and CCA format or ASCII format and the report can be imported to any library management software which is compliant to Mark 21 bibliographic record format. So, initially NCAT was only con containing the collections of the system sole software which the Infilmnet has created developed, but later on uh, the NCAT also contains the bibliographic data of different other systems such as KUHA. So, all the records in the NCAT are checked following the process of authentication, duplicate checking and error checking. So, once it goes through this process, then the records are merged into the union catalog. So, that is a, the how the NCAT was started. So, NCAT is very useful for the vernacular language. For instance, the many libraries have been using the copy cataloging services of Library of Congress and the British libraries and, and through the world cat. They copy the already catalog record and then they import in their own local library system. However, the vernacular language, the Indian languages are not fully covered in this system and therefore, INCAT become a very handy tool for those library who want to catalog the local library, local language books in their system. However, these records should be Mark 21 compliant, CCF and ASCII format compliant and therefore, INCAT which has the bibliography record are compliant through these formats and the libraries can easily uh, download these records and they can import in their own system. So, the different language books, uh, uh, Indian languages books can be easily catalogued using the INCAT services of copy catalog. The record can be imported to any library management system compliant to Mark 21 bibliographic format. INCAT also facilitate the Gujarat catalog and the Northeast region catalog database as well. So, there are two more uh, sub databases are available on the INCAT. Uh, so, you, if you somebody want to search only the library within the Gujarat, they can choose that Gujarat catalog or if you want to search library in the North East region, you can also choose that particular feature of the indicat. So, that is a, it has a three subset systems, one is one user can search the entire indicat, then they can also search the Gujarat catalog, Gujarat union catalog and the northeastern region union catalog of the libraries as well. So, it was started with a different objective indicat and the one of the objective of the indicat is to promote use of union catalog among user community to archive bibliography records of various institutions, universities and research organization. It also ensure uninterrupted 24 by 7, 365 days on an access to all the records stored in the database. INCAT also help researcher in their research work by providing platform to search related literature and to serve the user with its inbuilt interlibrary loan features. So, its inbuilt interlibrary feature is one of the very useful features in the INCAT, where one university library staff can directly request another university staff to borrow the books on interlibrary loan. So, once you logged into the system and identify a one particular book which you tend to borrow, you can click on the request button and you can compose an email directly from there where you have to put your name, the name of your libraries and the email address and the, you can compose an email giving the title and author of that book which you tend to request. So, that is another uh, service top of the indicate uh, database, bibliographic database, the libraries can provide to the users. User can search the entire union catalog using single search window or user can limit the search to a group of universities or university in a state. So, one particular university also you can search using the NCAT or you can also search the university within a particular state. So, suppose I want to search the university libraries in Delhi and would like to know which library has that particular book that can also become a reality using the NCAT service. So, NCAT has been very helpful to the researcher, those who want to travel to certain universities uh, to identify and access that book.
if that one particular book is not available in their library, they can figure out which library has that particular book and they can plan their visit. So, it also saves the time of the researchers, save the time of uh, efforts uh, of the researchers and getting the content in the shortest time. So, user can browse to explore the union database alphabetically by subject category, by name of the university or chronologically. INCAT also gives link to full text thesis in Shodh Ganga. So, user can search the Shodh Ganga content also using the INCAT. They are also part of it. Apart from that, INCAT has a service of contributing the data to the INCAT. So, if you are an existing library which has already uh, contributed content to the INCAT, you have to click on the icon existing on the screen. If you are a new library, then you have to click on the new library which is first time uh, contributing the content and where you have to define the category, uh, the book, uh, whether you are contributing or the, the thesis catalog you are contributing and that is how it uh, gives, whether you are only contributing to one set of like uh, Gujarat catalog or you are uh, contributing the North East region catalog that also you can define. You also have to mention the name of your university and the state of your university uh, while contributing the content. It will also ask the search, the submission window will ask the name of the librarians and contact email. Uh, the submission form will also ask you the name of the software, URL, the website of your library and it will ask for the backup file. So, generally you have to upload your backup file on the Google Drive and you have to paste the link of the file while submitting or contributing the content to the IndCat. So, that is a thing you need to remember. So, not just using the service, but the libraries can also contribute the content to the INCAT and that is how the INCAT database is growing because large number of libraries are being contributing content to it. So, uh, now you can see on the screen, uh, it shows uh, the INCAT website and its catalog which has a provision of single search as well as exact search, free search and the advanced search. So, it is advised if you are not searching a particular book, only trying to uh, figure out on your research topic which book have been published, you just use the simple search where you can give the subject heading and the system will give you the hits which are the library which has that particular book. But if you use the advanced search here, uh, it will ask for the title of the book and the author and various other information you can give using the Boolean operator and or not and you can identify that particular content or particular book where it is uh, available. Uh, in addition to that, it is also has a provision of free search and exact search. So, exact search can also be done uh, using this checkbox and the free search is also uh, can be done using the INCAT. Uh, below the search box, you will see there are two checkbox. One is northeast region checkbox and another is statewide search. So, if you tend to search the book uh, in a libraries in a different, in a one individual state, you can check here statewide search and the system will give you the results from that particular state and the North Asia region can also be. So, these are the checkpoints to filter down your search, to narrow down your search to these part two particular uh, aspects. So, uh, on the top of it, there is a contribute your data. So, once you click here, it will, window will pop up and as I described, it will ask for the name of your libraries and you have to submit the Google uh, Drive link where you have uploaded your data and that data will reach to the INCAT headquarters in the Implement Center. Uh, the system will also show you the statistics, uh, the number of the doc, uh, records it has uh, including the books, theses and serials and then you can also download lots of uh, information from these websites. Uh, suppose you want to search only the thesis then you can search on the uh, click on the thesis button and the system will narrow down your search to the thesis bibliographic database uh, which are our thesis awarded by different university participating university in the INCAT. So, these are the uh, provision and these are the services uh, um, provided by the INCAT. Uh, once it gives a hit, uh, you can see on the screen you can also filter down your search using various descriptors. 
suppose I want to uh, identify the book only published by one particular publisher. So, here I have to click on that publisher and the system will filter down my search to that particular publisher, the publisher which has published that book. Suppose one particular book which are published by UNESCO which are number 8. So, only 8 bibliography records will be displayed here and subsequently I can also uh, narrow down my search on the basis of the additions. I can also narrow down on the basis of the place of publications, uh, subject uh, filtering is also there and uh, year wise filtering is also there. So, different filtering features help the user to reach to a particular content in a shortest possible time and to become the reality of what Ranganathan has envisaged. Ranganathan said we need to provide the service pinpointedly, we need to provide the services and the information exhaustively and expeditiously. So, all these things can be achieved using this INCAT uh, search system. Uh, on the right side you will see there are different icons. So, one icon is mark record download, another is bib text record download. So, once you click on the mark record, mark record can be downloaded and which can be imported into a different systems. Whether you are using the Sol system or the Koha integrated library management system, they can be imported. So, these are very useful uh, for the vernacular language, yeah, Indian languages which the bibliography record, record is not available and it is really uh, difficult to catalog them. So, you can use the indicate services of copy cataloging through which you can easily catalog the uh, language Indian languages books. So, uh, here is there are two views are provided by the indicate bibliographic uh, uh, data view. One is mark view and there is normal view. So, in the normal view it will show you the title author, ISBN number, place and publisher, date of publication, pages, language and catalog agency and the bottom it will show you the which library has that particular book and the ILR request button. So, once you click on the IL button, it will ask you your detail uh, and where you can compose a message and the message can directly send to the concerned university contact person. So, this is how uh, the interlibrary loan can also uh, become a reality using the INCAT service. Now, uh, while contributing the content to the INCAT, uh, what are the different form and different uh, parameter you need to define? These are the uh, given on the screen. Here, one of the essential thing is sharing the backup file and uh, name of the lineman and contact email, name of the university and state uh, university. So, you should, if your libraries are participating in the INCAT, you should continuously uh, contribute content so that the, the database can be enlarged and therefore, uh, large and large number library should participate into the INCAT uh, because uh, right now only 121 universities are participating into it. Now, you understood what INCAT it is and how what kind of services you can start in your library using the INCAT. Of course, the interlibrary loan is one of the major uh, service you can provide to your user using the INCAT services. But uh, apart from that, libraries should be encouraged to participate in INCAT, not just the record of uh, books bibliography record of books, but also the bibliography record of thesis and the serial should also be contributed uh, to the INCAT. So, that is how the database should be enlarged, so that more and library, more and more library can benefit from the this local Indian initiative uh, INCAT which is started by the Infilmed Center in Ahmedabad. So, there are 121 libraries already, already participating in it, but we have more than 1000 universities in India. So, once the large number of university libraries will contribute content to it, so uh, we can, the researchers can take benefit out of it and they can identify which library has that particular book. So, uh, this uh, or the thesis or the serial available in different libraries. So, that can be, uh, that can be very useful to the researchers and therefore, more and more libraries should come forward and they should contribute content to it. National Union Catalog of Scientific Serial in India is a union catalog of scientific serials in India. It is accessible on the internet and serve as an ideal tool to access journal holdings information. It is a data repository of a large number of unique journal titles and library holdings belonging to major universities, science and technology institutions, research and development units of industries, higher educational institution in India. It has been maintained by NISCARE, now Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, 
called National Institute of Science, Communication and Policy Research since 1965. It was first published in 1988. It was made online in 2010 containing 2.67 lakh journal holdings data from more than 45,000 journals available in about 572 libraries. So, this has a lots of feature. It provides information regarding the availability of journal title. It also has integration of database with email service which enables routing of library users request information. The participating library can update the database as and when required. Therefore, user get updated information about holdings. The service is free of course for user. Search interface in it is user friendly and enable easy and improved access to locate a particular journal and its availability. So, you can see on the screen it shows uh, its website and which has given you can search one particular journal, you can search the entire library or you can also uh, confine your search to a one particular city. So, once you done that uh, it, you will get the hits. Uh, on the another screen, you, you can see their screen, you can see that 10 record at a time or the large number of record also you can see at a time and it will show you which city has that particular journal and in that particular city which library has that particular journals. So, and when that particular record was updated. So, it gives you a different details. So, uh, unlike the world, uh, unlike the IndCat, uh, which also has uh, books, serials and thesis that this national union catalog of scientific serial in India only contain information about the serials and the user. This was very useful when the serials were only available in the print. Now, the serials are all also available in the electronic form. In fact, the large number of libraries now acts, uh, maintains uh, e format of the serials and the only uh, very few journals are being subscribed in print form. So, this was actually now very less use service, but still it has its own utility because many journals are not available in electronic forms and therefore, the researcher has to consult only those printed journals in different libraries. So, this union catalog gives us an understanding that which libraries subscribe to those uh, journals and therefore, after identifying the respective libraries, researcher can reach to their that library and can uh, consult that journal and the particular issue uh, where that information uh, is located. So, uh, precisely uh, this the union catalog has uh, uh, ac uh, contains around 45,632 journals which is showing on the website and more than uh, you know 2 lakhs. Uh, contents are there, holdings are there and total participating libraries are around 572. Uh, so, all these informations are given on this uh, website and user can uh, you know uh, send their request. There, there is an email action, email is also given. So, once you send an email to contact person, you can also request beforehand before con uh, consulting that particular printed journal in their respective libraries. So, that is how uh, these are the another Indian initiative apart from the IndCat, uh, which library should be aware about it. They should also disseminate the information about these union catalog created by different libraries. So, that user can understand uh, they should not only done their search on the search engine Google, Yahoo and various meta, meta search engine or the discovery search system. They should also explore these union catalog. Uh, and uh, that is how they can do a detailed literature review for their research work. So, now if you look into the historical account of libraries, libraries were not accessible to the common people. They were only accessible to the aristocratic families and kings and after the invention of the Gutenberg printing, the started uh, the production of information at a large scale and therefore, the libraries started building. It can started acquis acquiring different collections. Uh, different books, but afterwards when the after the invention of the Gutenberg printed, now the challenge was the optimum utilization of these collections and therefore, the, these union catalog become very uh, you know uh, uh, has a great utility because these union catalog tell us which library has that particular book. So, when you are actually 
participating in this union catalog you are also enhancing the utility of your collections because if your own users are not using those collections other users will identify those collections and they will approach you to use those collections so utility of the collection also become uh, larger when you participating in this union catalog therefore each library should contribute content to this union catalog and they should participate so not just help others but you can also take benefit your user own user can also take benefit from these union catalog such as world cat in cat and the national union catalog of scientific seals in india and you can provide a robust information services uh, to your users because no library is self sufficient you cannot acquire all the information produced worldwide and therefore library cooperation become very very important very very significant in current uh, time and uh, these are very useful uh, platforms uh, which uh, we should actually encourage we should make our user aware about these system so that they can de do a detailed literature review uh, before starting their now uh, during the course of their research so with this thank you very much for your patient listening thank you very much